Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion node breakdown. Today's node is the Weld 3D node. So we're going to jump into actually Blender. So let's open Blender. And uh, let me resize this. So we got this amazing model I made. So it's uh, two squares just kind of joined together. And if we jump into our edit mode, And let's zoom in here. If we look, we've got some uh, vertices here along this line that are pretty close to other vertices. So in modeling, a lot of times we'll have vertices that are uh, doubled up or super close to each other. And a good practice is to uh, make sure we're cleaning these up because they can cause issues when we're uh, doing other things, especially when it comes to texturing and light and stuff like that. So a lot of times we'll come in here and try to clean them up. And uh, there's correct ways to do this, but sometimes your models actually end up with two vertices like really close together like this. And this can cause problems with infusion. So let's go ahead and export this out. And jump back into Fusion. So we're going to bring in our FBX. So we'll use a FBX Mesh 3D and bring in our awesome model we created. And uh, let's knock that size down to 0 0.01. And let's throw some color on it just so we have some color. So if I uh, spin this around, we kind of zoom in. You can see the issues that's causing right in here on our uh, shading. So it's going to cause the same problems with textures and with materials and shading and all that stuff. So Fusion offers a node called the Weld node to help fix some of these. Because what's happening is we have multiple normals in here causing issues. So if we go to our 3D scene and let's turn on our uh, normals so we can see what's going on. And let's change this to wireframe. So if we uh, try to zoom in here, we can see some of the problems on our normals right here. And maybe wireframe wasn't so great. You see, we have double normals going and double normals and our normals are doing weird things. Now we can fix this and we can take these vertices that are close to each other and weld them together but this node is not going to get rid of any normals or any tangents so your normals and tangents will remain the same it will remain doubled up but it will at least uh, fix some of these issues when it comes to our vertices so let's go ahead and bring in a weld 3d node and we're going to place it right there and on the Weld 3D node itself, we have two modes, whether it's welding or fracturing. If we have it on Weld, it's going to weld our vertices together. And if we use Fracture, any two vertices that are close together, it's going to unweld them or fracture them. And initially, our auto tolerance should kind of fix some of this stuff. But if I look, it doesn't really look like it's fixing anything on auto. But if we uncheck that, we can change our tolerance manually. And before we change our tolerance, we could use the model coordinate system or the world coordinate system. And this just depends on whether it's going to use your model as a coordinate or the world as a coordinate. And uh, best practice is leave it on world. So within our tolerance, we can start raising and lowering our tolerance to weld those together. So if you look, we have these two right here. As I go up, it just welded them together. 
and for some reason it's just not catching the other ones but you can if you want go up to one and it's really going to weld your vertices together but this will allow you to uh, go beyond that 0. 0.00001 to start welding stuff together so you can see at 0. 0.6 at 0. 0.03 we're getting all of our vertices put at the same location And technically, this should have fixed our uh, issues with our shading, but I still see there's issues, and that's just a model issue. Now, mind you, don't use this node just because it's here, just to be uh, trying to clean up uh, any models that you bring in. Only use this node if you know you have uh, issues, because it can screw up your regular models, and uh, you may not even notice, but it's... Uh, is doing odd things to your vertices within your model. So only use this node if you know you have two vertices that you need to weld together. So use it modestly because it can break a lot of stuff. But that is the weld 3D node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.